In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can test a web application across both desktop web browsers and mobile devices in parallel using a single test automation script. Let's start with exploratory or manual testing. So in the Continuous Quality Lab, you can select a device using the Launch Mobile button as shown here. We'll select a Samsung device for example. This will bring up a Samsung device that you can perform interactive exploratory testing on. Similarly, you can also access a web browser with a specified operating system by performing a similar selection using the Launch Web button as you can see here. From here we select a browser and OS of our choice. For example, let's select a Windows and a Chrome browser. Let's choose the most recent release of Release 49, for example. Notice the tab for a specific language. Now a nice new feature is that we've auto-generated the code for the capability selected for each of these different languages you might select from. So if you clicked on each tab, you can see the commands that are required to select the capabilities for this particular browser and operating system combination. Now this will set up the relevant browser and operating system virtual machine for you to start exploratory testing on. Let's start with an example by going to geico.com and look for a vehicle insurance. Now on the web platform as well as the mobile browser, it's, you can access them using different methods. So on the mobile device, we select the vehicle insurance as you can see here. Now on the browser, it's actually located under a different section under the products and then vehicle insurance. This shows how the interface varies depending upon the platform used to access the website. Now this is a very simple exploratory testing example that's used for a responsive web application design. Now let's show you how you can run a test across these different devices and operating systems in an automated fashion. So we'll go ahead and create an automated test that'll test across the different browsers, Chrome and Firefox for example, as well as the mobile devices shown here. Now this code shown here is defined by platform so we'll test in parallel using a single test script. If we dive into the test script, which was written in Selenium, it shows how you can define a website under test and then fill out a form for specific information. So let's go ahead and execute this test in parallel across multiple web browsers and mobile devices that were defined earlier and we'll use TestNG to orchestrate the parallel test execution. As you can see in the dashboard view, there are six platforms under test at a given time. There are two mobile devices and four web browsers with different operating systems. Now all environments are being tested using the same test script, so one test script for multiple devices. Now let's look at the test script report that is generated for each device. We'll start with a simple example for one. Now the test report shown here shows the test steps and predefined points of interest as well as a video that was executed for the test. Now we defined a specific point of interest that was added to validate the error code. Now this was run without entering an appropriate value and it shows the result as well as the screenshot and the test parameters that were performed at the specific, specific test point of interest. This allows me to quickly see what was going on during the test both visually as well as validated by the test parameters that were selected at this time. Now recall that the test was orchestrated using TestNG, so we can also go back and look at the logged results into the TestNG framework. And if we dive into the test report in the TestNG and dive down into the re results of the test, you can see a listing of a variety of tests exam of examples that were shown earlier. Here you can see the reports for by platform that were tested, and if you click on the link it will bring up a report for that case that was similar to one that was shown earlier. Now there's also a side-by-side -side matrix report showing all of the platforms tested at the same test conditions. So if we go ahead and click on this, you can see a report of the variety of different test conditions and web systems that were tested by scrolling down and seeing the various testing conditions. This allows a side-by-side -side comparison of a responsive web design in a mobile as well as a browser device. So in summary, this demo showed how to test a web application across both desktop and mobile devices using a single test script executed in parallel using the TestNG framework, for example. And it concluded with detailed test reports of the test along with testing steps, videos, and screen captures, as well as test parameters. This allows you to dive in and see what's going on during and before a test failure, for example. This concludes this video demonstration. For more information, visit perfectomobile.com. Thank you.